Okay, fellas, this is for the WBO Featherweight Championship. Let's have a good, clean fight, protect yourself at all times, and obey my commands. Touch them up, bang at the belt. Both these fighters' style can bring on head clashes. They're both inside, looking to get in those trenches. They have been both involved in getting bloodied by colliding heads. Here we go. Both undefeated. Valdez putting his title on the line. He owns the second highest knockout percentage among modern era featherweight titleists active or retired. Round number one. He might be again tonight. Just threw a look at Valdez and kind of moved him back a little bit. That looks like a season, right? Greg, you really look at facts. Most fights at 122, while Valdez turned pro 132. With what we've seen with Filipino fight you know that better than anyone having fun. That's right. This is a fight where I think size will matter, because both guys like to impose themselves, I said it earlier, physically. And when you want to do that, the bigger guy can have an edge. Oh, and Lennon has that jab and controlling Sylvania at distance. Above those eyes. Sylvania, a little bit more. Go inside, go outside, you can use his legs. But the ones are coming up front there. We saw moments ago, and have more body work. Right now, one dimension in Sylvania versus multi-dimensions in Valdez. Multi-dimensions usually win. Sometimes Valdez come out wide with those shots. I just saw Savania land a quick left hook in the inside of that. It was a right, a right hand. Valdez loves to loop that right hand. Savania found a home for that. Pizza, pizza. In the fighter meeting, Valdez said that he learned a lot from his last time timeout. That was a yes. very entertaining fight. Teddy, Timmy, and Bernardo here ringside in Tucson. Round number two of our featherweight title fight. Oscar Valdez throwing 50 punches in that first round. His percentage landed not as high as we typically see out of the champ. You know, with all the great, and I mean great history and tradition of Mexican fighters, to be involved in two Olympics. Representing Mexico. He's only 17 years old. In his there's the versatility. He's given Valdez the upper hand right here. He's able to go in, go out, go to the side. For the most part, Sylvania fight coming forward straight ahead. Valdez better be cautious. He's throwing combination. Sylvania. Sylvania able to Sylvania. Excuse me. land that right hand in between the punches of Valdez. Sylvania has to waste a lot of movement. He's moving his head from too far away. Unnecessary, and it could be timed. With a hard jam. Behind the jab, Timmy, like you, you're absolutely right. Right in the pocket there. When he starts moving that head too far away, good spot for Valdez to touch him up a little. Body shot. Both heavy handed. There's that wide sweeping right again from Oscar. So a shot is going to be there. And that left tip is there. Comes back with a sweeping left hand. Sometimes the thing is that they're a little bit too long. And you get hit, hit with the third shot. And the fourth shot. To be predictable. Coming in from movement too far away. The same speed, the same direction, straight ahead. Good final minute here of round number two from the undefeated titleist, Oscar Valdez, Jr. Hey. Muy bien, papá, muy bien. Mira, acabamos de ver algo. Él está muy frontal. This is earlier tonight. This is right to it, right? Mick Conlon, and we expect to see him later this year on ESPN. His ascent will be along of our championship featherweight fight. And he's standing right there. You mentioned something about more dimensions from Valdez. 
that's why you're able to see the the movement and the creativity of Valdez. More dimensions. Good exchange right in the middle of the ring between these two. Listening to both corners, making his way around ringside. Bernie, what can you tell us? Use that uppercut and set up that left hook. Who pairs on to it? Straight right hand and left hand right after. Can't find his rhythm right now. Most of Sylvania's fights have been in the Philippines. This is his first fight in the U.S. On hospital way for his first fight, putting him in with a guy like Valdez. And not only that, but his lead ran an experienced corner. And he just sound by side that process. Lead dog's not going to be barking. That changes things. It changes things he has to be. The guy that's with us coming right now. And for me, Teddy knows my tendencies. He knows what I'm all about. And you need to know that. You know? Time! Help the American Red Cross provide meals and shelter these families. You can donate today by going to Red Cross. Amen. Because earlier tonight, we saw the great champion, Gilberto Ramirez, 36-0. He dedicated tonight's title defense to those back in Mexico City. On the ground, helping with food, with water, is Canelo Alvarez today. Yes. That's right, Teddy. And we are seeing an emerging, blossoming breakthrough star here in to Mexico for his teen years. Fought here about two and a half years ago. And I'm gonna come back and I will have a world title fight. What is one dimension? Okay. Not enough. When the other guy has three dimensions. And Valdez is showing all those dimensions. Head, movement, control and range. Good work that time by Genesis Cervani. Valdez uses his legs a lot of weight. I'll tell you, when Oscar digs in with that left-handed body, he just opens up with everything. Bad intention. Take it easy, punch. Everything he throws to do that. Knockdown score. Five, six, seven, eight. You okay? You okay? You okay? Come to me. Come to me. Very incredulous to us, not even asking the question, are you okay? Not to your advantage to have that dimension. When you move off to the side with your hands down. And he comes in with the right hand. Look at the challenger on the attack. Oscar Valdez in trouble here at the end of the round. What a round for Genesis Cervani. And you gotta make sure you're not in range. He's in range, he moved out. He got caught with the right hand. Going out with his left hand down. Got caught with the right hand. Come on. There's a little unexpected drama in round number four as the undefeated title challenger, Genesis Cervania. Valdez in the way. Let's check in with what they're saying in Valdez's corner with Bernardo. You walk away with your hands down and you cross your feet. That's when he connected and that's what happened. Just okay, stay alert. He pulls away with his hands down and you show him how to come out. You know, the right way. A lot of Towards fighters do that. But they get away with it. That's what makes for an entertaining fight here. This is what makes for a good TV fight at a championship level. Because the champion Valdez had a... Ten nine yards of ice cream All of a sudden, not a walk in the park anymore. There was a short right hand on the inside. Valdez is hitting him with everything and not hurting him, but Savannah's hitting Valdez and he's hurting Here of round five. Genesis, a little more settled on his feet, absorbs another big blow. Crowd absolutely roaring here for the 
hometown hero. What a round! Great stop! With the featherweight title on the line. Trading knockdowns in Arizona, folks. Watch how it gets inside the glove. On the inside. Different ways to skin a cat, different ways to throw a left hook. He changed the arc on that left hook. Round number six, Valdez and Sylvania. He promised action. He promised physicality. He promised punching with bad intention. That goes back to back with opposite 10-8 rounds. You're loving life as a fight fan. Stop, stop. No game dropped in the first time in his career. In control. Travel halfway around the world with his lead trainer. And then pumps the Valdez's home turf. Well, Valdez never went into that classroom. Get that jab. Like a and scores from Genesis. Trying to get around that guard with the top again. That hard. It sends a signal to Savannah. Valdez put us up in a bad situation right here trying to get away. Angels on there for Valdez. It's like pulling out. He rolls up on everything hard. For the counter. For the counter. Right hand from Genesis. Backing up the chair. Another power surge to close out a round. Up and hard in the eight year pro from the Philippines. Kanazawa. Sylvania a little more effective down the stretch. Final 15 seconds. Bernardo. Oscar's father stepped up to the ring and stepped in and said, Look, you need to be smart. You need to control the fight. Don't let him steal rounds like you did in that combination. And this is right in place, the right hand. Sylvania. And he's just off the mark. But I see landing possibly later in the fight. That's what he's like. I'll tell you another thing, Valdez leaves himself available foes. Again, loading up on any shot that's all he knows. And you load up and you miss like that, guess what? Your body follows the punch. And when you fall in a little bit, oh. He says he has to know who everything says Oscar. I've been there before. I used to do the same thing. You know, eight weeks and you, sh you share that advice with him. As a young world champion, you know, to have confidence in yourself and his ability. Not much landed there. Because a fight only knows one thing. He's going to put those right hands again. There's a big right hand again from Genesis. A tail bar when he steps back. He's getting caught. A fighter knows one thing. I work. I work. You work too much. Oscar Chance starts up again. With in terms of a championship fight, and we're only at the end of round seven. And he comes back, and he's got a little smile, and he's saying, Thank you, champion. You gave me another round. This is Sylvania has earned that smile. He loves being aggressive, and he understands this golden opportunity. Sylvania scored the knockdown in round four, then he was put down in round five. That is why you see the dueling 10 8 rounds in the middle of Teddy Atlas's scorecard. Good. All paid attention. All power shot. Sometimes puts him out of position. And when he puts him out of position, back to that, your opponent can be right there. He's waiting on him to pull back. Savannah is. Pull out after that combination so he can hit him with the straight shots. Like that. Valdez is a bad habit. Before any more fireworks go off, let me get out. Great Matt was 13 years old today. Valdez gets hit later in the fight. His best opportunity to land shots. Losing his legs, keeping Zavadia a little off balance. You got a strong guy in Zavadia. Move to the side, keep him off balance, to use that strength. Zavadia right now is waiting on his opportunity. Boom, pull back, Valdez. Put the two Big left hook, power punch by Valdez. From forward, paid the price. 
challenger who doesn't know how to lose. Undefeated Genesis Sardani. Um, you young fighters out there, why you set the shots up, you step in, you don't reach it. Valdez, man. Maybe it's just a urgency for Valdez to step up and what he needs to do to get this guy out of here or no concern. Going out the side door. Get outside that shoulder where you're safe. Here in the fifth round. Durga, Durga had turned it. They want him to keep pressuring. They want him to work the body. And what else would the what else would the what had it do? That was a vicious body shot by Valdez. Whitaker now. Dug into the body again with the left hand. And in the sense of that, uh, that time too, Sylvania's taking, taking advantage of the opportunities. I well, I think that's the only opportunity he knows he has. Out there. So by waiting on one shot, he's losing the opportunity to... Archer Benerbiev, heavyweight star, a title eliminator against Enrico Colvin. That is all November 11th. I love these loaded fighters with action throughout. We saw a great title at a unanimous decision, and here they have traded knockdowns. Go of a great fighter, Andre Wood, and rightfully so. A couple months ago, the guy's sitting right in between us, Joe. Bradley being a great winner. We talked about Andre Wood. We could talk about congratulations on your retirement, Jeff. Thanks, coach. I appreciate that. Former division world champion. Great fights. And that was Dave. He pulled out his hands down. So he was waiting a little bit. Two rounds doing this. And pull his straight back. That's a great opportunity. It, it right. is a great opportunity, Tim. He has an opportunity to just do it, come forward behind the jab, and just get inside. He's not doing that the last couple rounds. He's looking for the one shot. He's moving, using his legs, finding angles. And in a fight like this, seemingly controlled the early goings. Then we have the trading of knockdowns in four and five, and some of the bigger rallies gathering points and legends comes through. Have arrived. decision win in what was just such a well-matched, good, hard-fought title fight for coming in undefeated. That's what we have in front of us here. And that gets the attention of his own fans. You're right. That he just be doing the what got him into the last several rounds. Looking for the one time. Press behind the jig. And you said, well, Valdez. And take that tack. That attitude. There. Fine. But you lose with what brought you here. Oh, he came out the gate, shoot, firing that jab. He must have heard you. He's gonna outbox you. He's not gonna cooperate with you. Make him do that. Exactly. Come in there. Come. If he outboxes you, please, you know that you brought what you needed to bring. Was there in round four, six, seven? But it hasn't been there the last three. The monster. Next is about does need to go to the side. On a cross tonight, and then a little too wide at times. Yes. Left hand to the body from Oscar. Sylvania for a minute. Yes. Yes. I think the good work boxing down the stretch here. Yeah. 106-101 says Teddy. They traded the knockdowns in the middle, but then those missed opportunities with Sylvania just looking for that one big shot. The champ returning home here to Tucson, looking to defend things. And the beginning of this round, something different here in this final round. Well, the final round as he left. Stalking and a right hand does land there. Pull it out straight in front. Good exchange. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be sensational stuff down the stretch. They, Short don't, right hand. they don't know anything, these guys. That does their head so well. That's why I like Now I'm going to go get him. <laughs> so they're very game. Like, it's still 
seconds left. <laughs> and again, everything in big shot. Thing he loads up on. Such risk reward in the center of the ring. Brady is running up on Tough Cookie. Nothing but hard. Too long. Zabani is running off fumes. Just look at that last clips inside that last. He needs to rest. Oscar comes forward. Crowd rising as they're looking for their hometown champ here in Tucson. Oh, man, he is trainer. Oh, man, hey, 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 Judge Martinez, 119 to 111. And Judge Taylor scores it 117 to 109. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and still WBO featherweight champion of the world, Puro Nogales, señores. Oscar Valdez. Valdez does it here at home. He promised him he'd return with the belt.